Today, I'll be showing you step-by-step -step how to create an email in Figma that is going to be making you a lot more revenue every time you send it. I run an email agency, so my team and I live and breathe this stuff. And if you're a brand owner looking to you know, improve your email design, this is the right video for you. Now, if you're a six, seven, or eight figure brand owner, you know, your time is probably gonna be better spent delegating this kind of task. So if you want us to handle it for you, just you know, click the link down below and book in a call and we'll make sure to take care of you. With that said, I'm Nikita from aspectagency.com and let's go ahead and jump right into the steps. I created a basic layout of what our Figma design is going to look like. We have the header, we have the footer, then we have an, a headline, uh, an image and call to action, we have some shoes in CTA, don't worry, we're gonna be doing a shoe-based email here, and then some testimonials and call to action. So not only do we have an image and a headline that calls people out, we also have some descriptions and some products here, and then we also have some social proof with testimonials. So I'll be showing you exactly how to design each step by step. So first thing we need to do is create a header. So what you need to do is just click that rectangle tool and we're gonna to need to make a rectangle you need to make this rectangle about 600 pixels wide. And I guess the standard size is anywhere between 150 to 200 pixels, but let's just go ahead and stick with 150. Since this is Nike, we're just gonna go ahead and make it simple black and white. So let's go ahead and make that white. We already have a Nike logo over here, so let's go ahead and drag that over here. We're gonna make this a little bit smaller. You can click Shift to decrease the size. So we're gonna go ahead and place it over here. Now it's behind the image because in the layers section on the left, it is all the way at the bottom. So we're gonna go ahead and drag it to the top and we're gonna adjust the size a little bit here. So there we go, you have the Nike logo. If you want an easy way to go ahead and center it, you click both the objects, the rectangle and the logo. And we're gonna click on this button and we're gonna click on this button. And that just centers it in the middle and in the middle from the horizontal side and on the vertical side. So we have the header set up and ready to go. Next up is the headline and image. So what I like to do is actually put the headline within the image. So we're gonna go ahead and drag the image over here. I'm gonna go ahead and line it up. And the cool thing is with Figma, it, when you drag things around, there's little lines that move around and these lines kind of line everything up within the design. So once it freezes over here, we know we're at the edge and we're gonna go ahead and expand this image out to the edge. We're gonna just play around with the sizing a little bit. And we're gonna go ahead and throw in some text. And text, there's a text tool right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna drag the text box over here. And then we're gonna just, you know, write, just do it, right? Common Nike slogan. It looks like crap because of the font and the branding not matching up. But what you can do is you can download fonts online. And what we're gonna do is just, I already have the Nike font downloaded. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna increase the size of it. There's a size chart right here. We're gonna make it like that. And then what we're gonna do is make sure that the sizing is correct. We can make it the outline here, and we're gonna make sure that it is centered. Let's go ahead and there's actually a center drag here, right here. And one thing you can do is actually add shadows in the background of your email. So how does that work? You're gonna go ahead and click effects, click that plus button, and there's gonna be a drop shadow that pops up. When you click on this radial like effect settings, it pops up. And we're gonna go ahead and just make it black. I'm gonna increase the size all the way to 100. And we're gonna increase the blur a little bit. And we can do a little bit of offset. And you can see how it just pops out of that image and it makes it look like it's a part of the image. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and make another button and a button is very easy to create. You're gonna make another rectangle here, and trust me, um, I'm just gonna make another rectangle. And the rectangle could be either rounded, and you can do this by these rounded corners. So we can just make it a pill and make it fully round, or we can make it slightly round. We're gonna make the, the button white. 
And what you can do with a button as well as you can add a stroke to it. And what a stroke does is it creates a border around the button. So when you zoom in, you can see there's a little border around the button to make it pop out a little bit. So we're gonna increase the stroke to two pixels. We're gonna go ahead and center it. And then we're gonna add in a text. So the text size is from our previous settings. We're gonna drop it down to 20 and test our button CTA. So you don't see it because it's in white. So we're gonna go ahead and make it. So we're gonna go ahead and do that centering thing. I'm gonna make sure it is centered. And we can probably increase the size of the text a little bit to like maybe 24 and make sure it's in the middle. And there we go, we have our button call to action. Next up is shoes and call to action. So we're gonna go ahead and create another rectangle. I'm just gonna go ahead and place it like that. Center it. We're gonna make this white. And what you can do is you can click option or control and drag this down and it will duplicate your original selection. So for example, if I click option on this image and it'll just make another image. So it's just an easy way to duplicate things. I'm just gonna do lorem ipsum for the header. Now we're gonna drop that down to, uh, let's just do 48. Just keep it simple and make it black. And then remove that drop shadow. So lorem ipsum. Next, let's go ahead and make these shoes a part of that collection. So we're gonna go ahead and drag these over here. Let's go ahead and make them smaller. Now what we can do here is just add more rectangles to the section. And I'll show you how that's gonna look like. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Maybe make the width 500 so that way everything's even. Height 200. We're gonna add some corner radius to it. Let's just do 20 to be safe. And then what we're gonna do is create another rectangle within the rectangle. And this one is going to be white. Do another uh, height of, let's do 200. Oh wait, that's about the same. Make the height like 175. So that way it has a little bit of a border around here, make the corner radius about the same, 20. And boom, we have that set up here. Now what we can do is just place all of those shoes on top of the layer, so that way, and then we can make the shoe size about the same. So this is locked, we'll make it 150. So there we go, we have one. So then what we can do is just put text down here. So you can honestly just press the, the T uh, letter on your keyboard and create a text box. And we'll lower that down to, let's say 25. And then here, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy some lorem ipsum text for the product description or whatever you wanna put down there. It's a little bit too long. And we're gonna make this black. So that way it's easily readable. One thing what we can also do is center it down on the page and make sure that it fits the actual border. And then we're gonna select those two things and make sure it's in the middle. And there we go, we have a product description. And what we can also do to add a little bit more flair is a headline. We're gonna put that up here. And with a headline, we're obviously gonna need a bigger you know, section there. So we're gonna select this, all of this, and then click Option, Duplicate. There we go. Extend this section out. And you can see that 20 that pops up in between here, it shows you the spacing in between to make sure that it's even. 
Now, one thing you could do, and this is more advanced, is doing auto layouts. And simply what that does is you put everything into one section and you can space everything out a lot easier that way, but it's just way more complicated and it's just for another video. So the height of this image was 150 by 150. Let's go ahead and increase this to 150. Take this out and then put this into here and you can line it up by selecting those two again. And there we go, it's centered. I didn't even do it for this one. Let's go ahead and do that. And let's do the last shoe here. Let's make it 150. Let's put that over here. Remove that. And let's go ahead and center this. So there you go, you have a simplified product section here. And then what we can do is move on to the testimonials. The testimonial is gonna be very easy to do. And one thing you could do here to break off, you know, this white section is simply just make another section, but make it not white. So let's go ahead and remove that, remove that. I accidentally duplicated too many things. So what we can do is just do a, maybe a little slight off-white. Maybe a slight off-red. And with the testimonial section, we can honestly just take these headline pills and put them down here and then switch things up a little bit. So what we're going to do is extend this section out right? The headline is just going to be, you know, um, fr from who the person actually wrote. So, you know, Jack Smith, we're going to line this up with this text box here. And I have some stars that we can throw in here. Again, this is a very rudimentary version of how to create these emails. There's a lot more to it than goes into it. But uh, what we can do is just plop those stars into there. There we go. And what we can do is just, again, take this, take this, take this, and then duplicate it one more time. Just to add some finishing touches is add a headline. So... That would be like, so we'll go ahead and expand this box a little bit, read our reviews. Cool. Everything is set up. Now, one thing that I did miss out on is a call to action on both sides. So let's go ahead and add that in. And then we'll just go ahead and center it. Drag this down. And there you go. That is pretty much it. One thing we do need to add in is a footer. So let's go ahead and do that. And the footer is very easy to do. Um, all you need to do is just put in your social icons. So. And we can do this in Clavio. A lot of it can be simplified in Clavio. You don't have to do it here. Um, what we can do is just put in some lower mipsum text, like um, pretty simple standard language. Um, we'll just go ahead and center it and make the font a little bit smaller. So then what we can do is just place some social icons down here and boom, there you go. You have your footer. So that's pretty much it. That is how you quickly create an email template. There's again, more to it than that, like auto layouts and coloring, etc. But this is just like the basics of what you need. And there you have it. That is how we set up our emails in a very simplified way. Obviously, there's a lot more complex steps to it in the service side. But in the next video, I'll be covering how to set up this exact template in Klaviyo and how to set it up for maximum deliverability. If you like the video, hit that like button. And if you want to see the next part, 
hit that subscribe button so that way you're up to speed on you know actually setting this up in Klaviyo. I'm Nikita, and I'll see you guys in the next video.